Hello, and welcome back to the Chirping Pigeons YouTube channel. If you haven't had the chance to check out any of our content, please go back and do so as it would really help us out. In today's episode, we're going to talk about the 2023 Stanley Cup Final between the Vegas Golden Knights and the Florida Panthers. Both of these teams are coming in with really hot streaks. Florida, after going down 3-1 in round one to Boston, are 11-1 currently, only losing that one game in game four against the Toronto Maple Leafs. And they have just been on an absolute ride since then, getting four straight wins against the Carolina Hurricanes. It was definitely a closer series than your more typical sweep. Two games going to overtime, one of them that went to quadruple overtime, and then you had that one in game four where Matthew Kachuk wins it with five seconds left. On the other side with the Vegas Golden Knights, them going up 3-0 against the Dallas Stars was just, just a huge surprise for me. Dallas was able to battle back, win game four and five, but then Vegas just absolutely dominating in game six shutting out Dallas and heading to the Stanley Cup Finals. Vegas has obviously been a really good team since they've entered this league. They've been to the Conference Finals four times in the six years of existence, twice now to the Stanley Cup Finals. They weren't really talked about a lot, about a team that could make some damage in, in the regular season and the playoffs. And on the other side, you have the same type of team in the Florida Panthers, who just squeaked in the, into the playoffs. If Pittsburgh ended up beating Chicago that one game near the end of the season, Florida wouldn't even have qualified for the playoffs this year. So it's just crazy how things go. And I mean, when you get a Red Hawk goaltender like Sergei Bobrovsky, anything can really happen and he can just lead your team to the final. Kind of reminds me of the Montreal Canadiens in 2021 in the shortened season when they were able just to squeeze into that North Division and Carey Price got hot after going down 3-1 to the Toronto Maple Leafs and they were just able to ride their way all the way to the Stanley Cup Finals, but just falling short against the Tampa Bay Lightning. This definitely isn't a typical Stanley Cup final for sure. One of these team, teams will win their first Stanley Cup in franchise history, which is crazy to say. Vegas obviously made the Stanley Cup finals in their inaugural season when they lost to the Washington Capitals in 2018. And Florida hasn't been to the Stanley Cup since 1996, where they were swept by the Colorado Avalanche and Patrick Waugh. The one thing that's really going to get my mind in this series is you got two really hot goaltenders going at it. Obviously, Sergei Bobrovsky, since he came in, and I think it was game four against the Boston Bruins, has just been absolutely unbelievable. He's riding an 11-2 record, a 2.21 goals against average, a 9.35 save percentage, and a 19.7 goals saved above expected, which is just absolutely insane that that number is more than the amount of games he's played. And on the other hand, Aiden Hill, I mean, he didn't see a lick of action in round one against the Winnipeg Jets. Laurent Persuas was great. He went down with injury against the Edmonton Oilers, and Aiden Hill has just been phenomenal since taking over. He has a 7-3 record with a 2.07 goals against average and a 9.37 save percentage with a 6.4 goal saved above average. So my question in this series is, is one of these guys going to break? They've both been on insane runs until now, but there's a possibility that one of them will not play to the potential that they have so far in these playoffs but there is also the potential that both of these guys do continue to do what they're doing and we're going to have a really s low scoring series on our hands talking about advantage and disadvantages in this series it's definitely pretty tight i think on forward i mean i couldn't even really decide i think it's pretty much a wash i'd say vegas has better depth but florida has better like top end guys superstars i mean jack eichel has been really good for vegas but he hasn't really been scoring as much as like Matthew Kachuk has. So, I mean, Vegas is going to have to rely on guys going down their lineup to be able to score, and Florida's going to have to continue to produce from their top-end players. On defense, I mean, Florida has a really good decor that's super underrated. I feel like guys like Gustav Forsling, Radko Gudis doesn't get enough credit. Obviously, Brandon Montour just came out of nowhere this year. He's never really shown that he can do what he's done this year. And even their like, bottom pairing of Josh Mahura and Mark Stahl, like, those guys are not your typical guys that you would talk about. But, I mean, they're getting the job done, and Mark Stahl's kind of resurrected his career, I think, a little bit. He was kind of fading to maybe being out of the league, maybe being like more of a seventh defenseman. But he's taken a big role in these playoffs, and I think he deserves a lot of credit. But I think definitely the Vegas Golden Knights have the advantage of defense in this series. I mean, you're running with your pairing of Petrangelo Martinez, Theodore McNabb, and Zach Whitecloud and Nick Hag. I think these guys are just a bunch of monsters, especially Nick Hag back there. You got your offensive weapons in Shea Theodore and Alex Petrangelo, but can also, like I think Shea Theodore can shut guys down as well. 
You just got some mean and nastiness, like I said, with Nick Hag, Braden McNabb, Alec Martinez. These guys have also been there with the LA Kings before, and they definitely want to get another Stanley Cup. In net, I would give the advantage to Florida and Sergei Bobrovsky. Like I mentioned earlier, Aiden Hill's just been phenomenal this playoffs, but I think that 19.7 goal saved above expected compared to Hill's 6.4 has just shown how good Bobrovsky's been compared to any other goalie in these playoffs. I think the Panthers' biggest advantage, especially going into this series, is their top-end talent. Matthew Kachuk, Alex Barkov, Brandon Montour seems like he's turning into a superstar, and same thing with Carter Verhage, and you also can't count out Sam Reinhart. They all have more points than Vegas' leading scorer, which is Jack Eichel, but I mean, Vegas has 20 players on their team that have at least 10 points in the playoffs, which is just nuts to me. Um, you, you definitely need depth to win in these playoffs. Not to say that Florida hasn't had great depth in this playoffs too, but I mean, Vegas has just has hit another level, especially last game. Keegan Colasar, Nick Waugh, William Carrier just broke out. It was really easy for Vegas the rest of the way. I thought it just took a lot of pressure off those top end guys when your depth is able to get going and score those first two goals of the game. And that's what you need in these playoffs to win. Going into this series, in accordance to betting, Vegas is the odds. They are currently at minus 135, while Florida is at plus 105. So it's not too much of an advantage for Vegas, but once again, Florida is going in as the underdogs. They've been doing that in every single series so far. They've beaten the top three teams in the Eastern Conference, including Boston, Toronto, and Carolina, which is just really impressive. This is obviously a really tough one. I pretty much doubted both of these teams all playoffs, if I'm being honest. But I'm going to have to doubt one of them again, which is definitely tough, because I could see both of these teams winning the Stanley Cup by the end of this series. Florida is coming in with a pretty long layover going into the Stanley Cup Finals, especially with Vegas wrapping that series up on Monday night and the Stanley Cup Finals Game 1 not start until Saturday, and Florida has been off since late last week. So they will be getting a lot of rest, but Vegas will also be resting up too with about six days off in between games. For my prediction in this series, I really want to say that this series is going seven games because it seems like the type of series that might, but also I thought a bunch of the series in this playoffs could have went the distance, especially that Carolina-Florida won last series, and boy was I wrong about that. So I'm going to take the Florida Panthers in six games, and they will get their first Stanley Cup, and I think Sergei Bobrovsky is going to win the Conn Smythe Trophy and just continue his spectacular play that he has just been showing this entire playoffs. And I think a question you can ask yourself at the end of the series, if he's able to get the job done as a Stanley Cup champion and the Conn Smythe winner, is Sergei Bobrovsky a Hall of Famer? I mean, he's got two Vesna trophies, and if he adds a Conn Smythe and a Stanley Cup to his resume, I think it's a good possibility that he gets in. All right, guys, thank you very much for watching this video. Like I said, if you haven't checked out any of our content, please go back and do so. Please like, subscribe, and don't forget to ring that bell to stay connected.